Sorry, my daughter called. She was at a nail appointment, so I had to go pick her up. So it stopped my video, so I'm going to have to finish the second um, half of it on a different video. So here we go. So we were at the um, pile two. We were at the King of Wands. A mature individual who is compassionate, reserved, and faithful, self-assurance, and confident in one's ability to attain success. An unconventional and highly intelligent person who has chosen to do things their own way and who has achieved success as an, a result. One who takes responsibility seriously. An established individual whose ideas are respected. Wisdom that comes from experience. A faithfully married man. A thought Full, yet somewhat trying father, honesty, stability, compassionate, authority, responsibility, and trust in oneself leads to success. An established leader, fairness, good, and just leadership. Your next card is the Magician. And the Magician represents a Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or it, maybe it's going to happen in Aquarius season. The magician's message is to inform you that you have all the skills and ability required to handle a task well and bring it to a successful conclusion. Just like the magician, you must apply yourself with concentration and willpower in order to su succeed. But you have all the potential to do so. This is a time for action. In any new ventures, you need to have confidence that you are indeed heading in the right direction. High Priestess. Hey, Jazz. No, no. The High Priestess represents mysteries, a secret, and so indicates that there is much more depth to some matter than you have seen so far. With the right cards, it could show a secret becoming known to you that would be to your benefit. At this time, you need to follow your intuition and trust your instincts. The High Priestess also carries the message of potential as yet unexplored or perhaps unfulfilled. Look at the situation again as you may have missed something previously. The influence of this card is feminine in nature relating to the psyche and so represents spirituality uh, spirituality and matters and wisdom and the desire for knowledge and learning. It may also show an interest in the deeper, more complex aspects of life. I did ask Spirit to tell me what signs we need to watch out for and we were you receive the Jupiter card, which is Sagittarius and Pisces. Also, the healing card, what, and it represents Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. A personal issue reaches... Re resolution full moon in cancer we're in cancer season right now so that's great so it should be coming to a head there things are likely to get very heated as the full moon in cancer is a super emotional sign so there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question it's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card there are some very fine sensibilities around so tread carefully as you move towards your goals and dreams this card indicates an especially feminine time it also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up nothing to worry about it signals a challenge is now coming to an end this card also just suggests both that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to head didn't i just say that and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in 
being a kind leader. This is a time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. Attune to the moon. It may be best to move forward what you, oh, excuse me. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Additional meanings to this card. Meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. Have you had enough family time lately? <laughs> You are very close to achieving your goal. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you are asking about is bulging with possibilities and coming to a peak. But this isn't an end card with the neat yes or no answer. Rather, you are being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want. Though you are certainly, or excuse me, currently on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to this situation. So be careful if you choose a light, you choose to light it. Attune to the moon. I know that I'm on the right track. Additional meanings of this card. Now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the monument going as you move towards your dreams. Momentum, not monument. Keep the momentum going as you Move towards your dreams. Jeez. Stay focused. It's time, a good time to start a new project. You need to get back into good, healthy habits. Striving. Eventually, the individual's ego's drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answers as they arrive. Thank you, Divine, for letting me move with the flow. The next one, I asked Spirit to give us a very important message, and this is Pile Twos. Sometimes the good is hidden. Find the good in what they said or asked. It's always there, even if they didn't mean for it to be there. The Universe. P.S. Clues for what you want are hidden all around you. That's important. You have the shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Your divine light is strong. You are radiant, endurance, resilience, making it through a trying time, Hope, hopeful future, wondering about life and death, contemplating the purpose of your existence, connections with the afterlife. I asked Spirit to please give us two more cards to caution us of the signs that we need to be aware of. You received the 11th house and it's Aquarius. So that's twice Aquarius has shown up in this reading. Which doesn't surprise me. And the other one is Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Be aware of. Ten of Pentacles, Luck. Good luck is coming and you celebrate a windfall or other unexpected financial bonus. Appreciating the stability this brings, a family gathering is on the cards too. The usual irritations disappear and you feel the love and support of relatives or the close friends you treat as family. In relationships, the card predicts families being joined by love. Feelings are declared and commitment follows. A couple moves in together or and announcement announces their wedding. 
Advice, appreciate the special bonds you share as a group and the love that comes with commitment. Embrace. When it comes to love, the universe is smiling upon you at this time. Energies are moving and shifting, coming together to give you exactly what you need and want. Your efforts to clarify your heart's desires, to be present in current relationships, and to actively manifest new relationships are now bearing fruit. In this moment, you are in a position to achieve all that you have dreamed of regards matters of the heart. Your dreams are ready to manifest. Allow all of the pieces to gently fall into place. Don't resist, just embrace. Your own personal energies are combining to bring you to a new level of being whole and perfect. This will allow your relationship to fall into place beautifully as well. To support this process of integration, work with the concept of having an open and grateful heart. Express appreciation for the many blessings in your life. As you go through your day, beware of the grace that surrounds you. Grace shows itself in ways both large and small. The larger manifestation of grace may be your family, your health, and your home. However, there are many small smaller manifestations of grace that can be that can also be acknowledged appreciate the warm of uh, yeah, appreciate the warm sun on your face the cool breeze blowing through your hair the lovely flowers growing from the, a crack in the stone wall by being grateful you surround yourself with contentment and through the law of attraction you will welcome more of the same including more fulfilling relationships. In traditional tarot, this is the world card. Okay, and pile two. Your outcome card is the Ten of Cups, which is awesome. The suit of cups, like a fairy tale, ends with a happily ever after card. In this moment, the hard work of fostering healthy, loving relationships cultivates in a sense that all is right with the world. In addition, looking from this vantage point at the future is glorious. You are all sharing the same beautiful dream and ready to take the next step together. The future may bring challenges, but you know together you can face anything. Your advice, really enjoy this feeling, imprint it in your heart, and make sure your loved ones know without a doubt how you feel. You can draw on this feeling for, uh, for strength during hard times. Okay, pile two, I apologize that I had to make it into two videos, but I wasn't gonna start it all over again, so. I hope that this video resonated with you. I hope it answered the questions that you were looking for when you chose to watch this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I, I'm hoping to hit over 80 today um, by the end of the weekend. I'm hoping, I'm praying that I'll hit over 100. So I'm looking forward to that. I want to you know, send a big thank you out to everyone that watches my channel that has supported me and has been just so understanding through all of it. I love you all so very much. I'm sending much healing, so much positive vibes, and just happiness to each and every one of you. I pray that your situation will go as you need it to. I know that both piles hit me, I mean, hit exactly what I've been going through, what I'm still going through, and what I still have to go through. But it answered so many questions, and it really, really helped me figure out what I needed to figure out. Um, I wanted to share to the world, since I'm out here, that my stepfather decided to not give me my inheritance that my mother left me. Um, he's trying to say that it's not the amount that it's supposed to be, or so on, uh, which we all know that that isn't true. I definitely know it's not true, because I witnessed her will and also the life insurance policy. But I just thought I'd throw that out there because these two scenarios, these two de uh, piles definitely hit home and definitely gave me a lot of answers. 
I am a fight in a war, and I have been fighting this war for, I don't know, 10 years now. Well, my whole life, but mostly for the past 10 years. It is coming to a head. You know, I just have faith that the universe is going to definitely, you know, do its magic and everything will work out for the best. Um, and so if you could, please pray for me. Just even if you say help Sunny, I would really appreciate that. My name is Sunny. If you don't know that, I had somebody else ask me. I thought, well, so maybe I need to start saying my name at, on each video. So that's me, Sunny. Anyways, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Yay, Friday. I'm going to go float the river tomorrow. Ooh, I'm excited. So I love doing that stuff. I love to be outdoors. So that just helps. I love you all so much. Peace.